In this how-to video, we're going to introduce the new UR8 and Vista software, the new checkbox of using device folder for the setting file. With this folder, we can choose to have the setting under a folder, like from the UR740 to 790, or we can choose the setting files without the folders. And we're going to do some demonstrations with different setting files and show you how this may affect you existing setting files in your computer. So now let's get started. For this demo, I split the screen into half for the UR and Vista setup, another half for the setting location saved on the computer. So before we introduce this new feature, let's review what the old uh, software from UR version 7.4 to 7.9 is doing with the setting folders. So I'm going to show you the setting of this uh, preference um, under general. There's one a checkbox, use device folder. Now this box is checked. When this is checked, it works the same way as the old uh, software from 7.4 to 7.9. So let's see what this uh, is doing. So I get one uh, offline setting file ur1cid so let's import this into the offline window and we have to click uh, all the way to find this uh, file location it's under the user program public document power management your pc data one and your cd one so once this setting file is imported we're going to see this uh, setting file saved under this offline window and during this process we can see that just three files will be generated cid um, icd and urs and depends on the uh, preference setting we can also choose to include the iid now we see that icd file is generating now the uh, software is generating the CID file. Okay, so once this process is done, we can see that we got one offline setting uh, UR1 under the offline window, and we got also a folder created for the UR1, and that has the three setting files, CID, ICD, and URS. And uh, see the timestamp, it's uh, today's June 18th, and my previous uh, setting file is June 11th. So later we're going to do a uh, exercise to see how this is going to affect this uh, old setting file by using this new uh, checkbox. So let's assume that the engineer did some modification of this uh, setting file and they want to keep the both setting file. So some people may do like this way, that do a copy paste and uh, rename it into the UR1 uh, into the UR2 and also the keeping the old UR1 file. So once they generated this uh, UR2 setting file CID under the UR1 folder and then re-import this into the uh, offline window and see what happens. And we the setting file is still being generated, but we can see that there's a new folder UR2 is generated under the UR1 folder. And the later three files will be populated on this folder, the CID file, the ICD file, and the URS file. So under the uh, UR2 folder. And uh, if uh, let's assume that we're going to generate another third file under UR3 uh, under the UR2 folder, we'll have the setting files uh, below that, that folder. So that's the old software is doing this way, the generating the folder under the folder if you copy paste rename a setting file under that folder. Okay, so the UR2 uh, set, setting file is done. We can see that the three files generated under the UR2 folder. As I said, you can 
create another UR3 and import into this software, then you have a, a UR3 folder. And that's the old way uh, the software is doing. We're using that checkbox by using the folder. Um, so the good practice is that we always recommend it. Uh, don't do the copy paste in the Explorer uh, under the computer and just do this uh, from the uh, Anavista software. So for example, if I want to create the uh, UR3 setting file, I just uh, right click uh, uh, choose duplicate the UR1 du and make a copy here and then we can check that uh, the there's a name copy of UR1 and we can rename into the UR3 okay so let's check that uh, the under the data folder we got one UR3 folder paralleled with the UR1 folder so that way you won't see that uh, the folder under the folder problem. And also um, we should keep that the name, the folder name and the setting file uh, under that folder aligned. And uh, so once you have that uh, uh, setting file doesn't match to the folder name and you may get some uh, message, say, the setting file is missing whatever when you try to update that SCL by writing click uh, mouse uh, choose that uh, update SCL and uh, so that's the what software is doing uh, for now with the UR 7.4 to UR 7.9 next we're going to uncheck that folder box we're going to see that all the SCL file moved out of the box and directly under that data folder but if the setting file the folder has some external file that folder will not be removed so let's see how this works so we're going to have a ur1 and a ur3 uh, two setting folders and we're going to uncheck that uh, folder box use device folder i'm going to select uncheck and there is a warning message you have chosen to remove all your device folder by doing so you are configuration files belong to all the offline device in your you are setup environment will be moved one directory level up this operation will override any UR setting file that may already exist in one directory level up and have the same name that's exactly I'm going to demo that that we already have one UR1 CID file timestamp June 11th. It has the same setting file with this UR1 folder. So this setting file will be replaced by the new setting file dated uh, June 18th. And that's exactly you should be careful if you have the same setting file out of this folder when you choose this uncheck box. So let's click uh, OK and see what happens. And this uh, just want you to confirm again. Okay, so we can see that uh, the UR1 CID file uh, is removed after the UR1 folder. And uh, look, the timestamp for this UR1 CID file is replaced by the uh, today's uh, date timestamp June 18th and old one was 11th and also the UR3 has three SCR file, CID, SCD, URS file that folder is removed and the UR3 uh, three, all three files moved out of the folder take one level up and UR1 because I mentioned is if there is external files and uh, so that uh, folder will not be removed that's why the ur1 folder is not removed and that's the this uh, how this new feature is working and how this uh, new feature may affect your existing file which have the same uh, name with the folder now with this uh, using folder box unchecked and let's do one copy paste of the ur1 cid file and again and see how this works this time so this time I'm going to uh, 
copy paste ur1 and rename into the ur4. And then import this uh, ur4 into the offline window again. Okay, so now we got the uh, ur4 setting file generated and uh, we see this uh, have a two newly generated uh, ICD URS have a newer timestamp than the old uh, UR4, but we got uh, all three files uh, directly saved under the uh, data folder. So we will not have that uh, folder under folder problem. And uh, also we can use the old way uh, to do a copy paste under the UR and Vista setup uh, so that's you can do a duplicate and let's rename this to UR5 and this time we see the three new files generated UR5, CID, ICD and URS and uh, that concludes all this demo of this new UR8 and Vista software how this uh, checkbox use the device folder affecting your setting file. Thanks for watching.